Okay, let's turn back to the markets a little bit uh, and just uh, the, the trend that we've seen recently of the NASDAQ, very recently, and I just mean in the last week, the NASDAQ kind of gave back some of the gains that it, it, it had picked up. It was the S&P and the Dow that did better last week. Um, what do you think about technology stocks here? What do you think about growth stocks versus uh, value stocks? I think people are just chasing performance. I mean, it's a momentum-based market. You know, I don't think this is a fundamentals-driven market and hasn't been since the Fed intervened. You know, I think people are trying to say, what's next? Where's all the money going to go next? And then they try to get ahead of that. And then that plays out. Then they go back to where they were with tech. We've seen this many, many times before. And, you know, and it's just part of what happens in a bull market. You lived through 1999. Do you think this is anything like that when you say momentum and just tasting momentum and getting oh, away yeah. from it? Or is this very different because you see a lot of these companies like a Microsoft and Amazon that, that really have, have been putting up some numbers, too? You know, in, in some respects, it's different because of the Fed and the liquidity they've introduced and the inflation for financial assets that comes with that. But on a bigger picture, it's so similar. I mean, I had my 18-year-old niece asking me, you know, what stock, stock she should invest in because her friends are making 30 percent per day, you know, and other people just randomly asking me that never look at stocks at all, what stocks that they should invest in. You know, everybody's a genius in a bull market and everybody's making money right now because you've got the Fed put. And, you know, that brings people in who otherwise wouldn't partic participate. You've got all the, the free traders, you know, that what would have been the analog analogous to the day traders of the late 90s that can come in and trade for free. They can trade fractionalized stock. So it's easy for them to, you know, put in a little bit of money, look and see that they're up 30 percent, you know, that they've made, relatively speaking, a lot of money for themselves. And that's going to keep them participating. And so, yeah, I think we're, we're very similar to what's going on in the 1990s. And, you know, as I look at my portfolio, which is still very heavy on um, um, Amazon and Netflix, I have to keep on reminding myself that the, the Internet bubble lasted multiple years. You know, it went from 1995 to early 2000. And so it wasn't like, oh, we're in a bubble. Then all of a sudden the bubble is over months later. It lasted for years. And so it's difficult to have patience sometimes and recognize that there's still a lot of money that can come in and chase that performance. You know, people tell their friends, hey, look at how much money I'm making. You know, my niece and her friends, you know, other kids that I know are asking me questions on TikTok about stocks. And so it's different, but it's so analogous in so many ways. But we still have to be patient. It doesn't mean it's going to end tomorrow. So what did you tell your 18-year-old niece to do? I said there's a reason why people sell you that stock, and it's not because they think the price is going up. You know, and so you've always got to be careful and understand what you're doing. Um, and then the second thing I told her, if you do do it and you make money, the only way you get to keep that money is by cashing out. Don't get greedy. Pigs get fat, hogs get slaughtered. And so I said, you know, this is a little bit different, but this is also a chance for you to learn how the market works and how, how companies work. So if you are willing to take the time, I'm happy to help you. Yeah, you want to be an investor, not a trader, though, right? You don't well, want to sell in this out market, you can be a trader. But yeah, in this market, you can be a trader, but longer term, traders typically end up losing all their money. And so you want to be an investor longer term mm -hmm. and understand what you're doing.